Hello fellas and welcome to not another Parkside video. Today I will present you something slightly more energizing. This Watt Cycle 12 volts 100 amps hour LFP deep cycle battery. This little baby weighs only 10.5 kilos. It packs 1280 watts hour of energy and it's the perfect choice for your home solar power system, for your RV, van, golf cart or trolling motor. This is the Watt Cycle 12 volts flagship battery. It's built with EV grade A plus battery cells. And according to the manufacturer, it can provide at least 5000 cycles at 100% DOD. It's equipped with intelligent battery monitoring system, protecting it against overcurrent, overcharge, overdischarge, overload, extreme temperatures and short circuit. And speaking about those protections, let me share you some of the numbers. The battery here supports a maximum continuous charge discharge current of 100 amps. The maximum instantaneous discharge current is about 300 plus minus 50 amps, but that's for no longer than 1.2 seconds. If you try running it for longer times, the BMS will shut off and protect the battery. The user manual is really well written and you can find in it all the information you might need about the BMS, the protections, how to use the battery, how to store it and so on. Being an LFP battery makes the product relatively fire safe, but that doesn't mean it cannot catch fire. So having so much protections, especially the short circuit one, is a really nice addition to the overall safety of the battery. Before proceeding with some field tests, maybe it's a good idea to tell you that you can use the battery in pretty extreme environments with temperatures ranging from minus 20 up to plus 70 degrees Celsius. That's when you're discharging the battery. When you're charging it, the lower threshold is a little bit higher from zero up to 50 degrees. With this being said and knowing it's high discharge current, some of you might ask, can I use it as a car starting battery? Well, not exactly. The temperatures in the engine bay where most of the car batteries are located quite often are above 70 degrees Celsius. Of course, you can always place the battery someplace else, like in your trunk, but then during the winter, you won't be able to properly charge it as the temperatures quite often are below zero degrees. Starting with probably the most extreme test for such battery, cranking test on 1.9 liters diesel engine, 1.9 CDTI. Let's see whether it will be able to start it. The cabling I've done is strictly for the experiment, so don't pay so much attention on it. It's time to verify the capacity of the battery. For the task, I will use this programmable DC electronic load bank, which happens to have a dedicated battery test mode. The discharge current will be constant, 30 amps, and the load bank will automatically calculate and record the capacity in amps hour and watts hour. The cutoff voltage of the load bank is set on six volts, but I hope that the internal protection of the battery will shut it off way before that. The battery is fully charged, so let's start the process. Three hours and 20 minutes. The load bank is reading 100 amps hour. So yes, I can confirm that the battery can truly deliver its rated capacity. I think we are at the end of this discharging cycle, but let's see how much more the battery can deliver. Three hours and 30 minutes, 105 amps hour. You can see how rapidly the voltage is dropping when it's below 12 volts, which is perfectly normal for an LFP battery at the end of its uh, discharging cycle. 107 amps hour, the battery is still discharging. Let's see 
at what voltage the internal protection will shut it off. Almost 108 amps hour, the internal protection shut off the battery at about 10 volts. Well fellas, you saw it, you can crank your car using this battery. Of course it's not advisable if you're planning to ditch the lit AC battery on your vehicle. You have to look for uncranking AFP model. What cycle is offering such model? So you can take a look on their website. You also saw that the rated capacity is absolutely true. I was planning to take a look inside, but the casing is using one really hard glue and I really don't want to destroy it. Furthermore, there are lots of videos showing the internals of this baby. The battery is really nice, really nicely built and I might say it's quite cheap. So much for this video. If you find it informative, you know what to do. Bye guys and see you soon.